Um, me and Katie were in her dorm room. We were watching a Harry Potter sequel, and there's a scene in it where they have a Quidditch game and they're dancing through it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, did you know that they play Quidditch in real life? And she goes, heck yes, I do. Quidditch is, well, a sport based off of the book from Harry Potter, but adapted because of the lack of magical powers. Four different sports going on at once. There's uh, elements of rugby and handball with the chasers and the keeper. The beaters add a little bit of dodgeball into it. And then the snitch and the seeker is a whole separate game of tag. So the quaffle is what you score with, and the chasers use the quaffle to score through the hoops. The keeper protects the hoops, and the bludgers are the dodgeballs, which the beaters use to hit the other beaters and the chasers. And when you get hit by a bludger, you have to go back to your hoops and drop whatever ball you're holding. The snitch um, leaves the field and runs around wherever the boundaries are, and the seeker has to find the snitch and get the snitch and get the ball from the snitch. And the snitch can do anything the snitch wants to do, as long as it's legal. We're currently looking for a snitch because ours transferred. It's getting bigger, I suppose, because I know there's about like 80 to like 90 teams across the U.S. There's talks of it being an NCAA sport. There's, it's a growing community. There are teams in Canada, in Finland. There's Asian teams now. We are registered in the Buffalo Quidditch Association. Buffalo Quidditch, I know, comprises of Right now, us, Ives Pond, uh, I think University of Buffalo, and a couple other teams, maybe some high school teams involved as well. Geneseo has been talking a little bit of smack about us. It's just hype. We're going to win. I think it was something like 2003, Middlebury College really started it and made Muggle Quidditch an actual thing. So they were really the ones who put together the rule book and everything. Well, I know Megan and Katie were interested and starting a Quidditch team at Fredonia, and they just basically made a Facebook page and invited people. There was a Facebook group, and I joined it. I went to the first game, and I was like, this is pretty awesome. I just saw the Facebook page started up, and then we had our first game. There are a lot of different variations of Quidditch that you can find online and things like that that like use like capture the flag tactics with the snitch instead of a person. Our first game actually went pretty well, but now that we're slowly getting into it and figuring out everybody's strengths and everybody's weaknesses a fair amount, we've determined a lot of like our key players and a lot of people that are really good and really can play Quidditch effectively. When it comes to changing the game from what it is in the books into what it is in real life, it definitely takes a lot of creativity. We had trouble with getting hoops. We started out just buying brooms at Walmart, taping hoops onto them, and then they didn't stand up well, so, and we don't actually have brooms yet. We started off with using the broom ball brooms, but we couldn't use them after a while because we kind of damaged them. We can't fly, which is kind of depressing. You run with the broom between your legs, it's difficult to get the hang of that because you don't have two hands to throw or catch because one hand is always holding the broom. Obviously the brooms or the balls don't, like they can't attack you like they would in the game, so we use dodgeballs instead. That was probably the difficult one, finding people to play. My favorite aspect of Quidditch is definitely playing in the different weather that we do here because we play in the snow and we play in the rain and it just always ends well. I like scoring and I like taking down our keeper Kevin because he's a lot bigger than me so it's kind of rewarding to take him down and then score at the same time. Full contact would be my favorite part of the game. I think it's, it's hilarious when you see somebody try to run and score and then you upend them and flip them over you. Where do I see Fredonia Quidditch heading? Um, hopefully World Cup champions in November and maybe repeat in the next November. I definitely think that Quidditch will only grow. They can only go up because the movies are over and the books have been over since 2007. The fan community around Harry Potter is unparalleled, like really, really unparalleled. And there's so much enthusiasm there that we have things like Wizard Rock with um, the musical genre about Harry Potter. And we have non-for-profit organizations set up around Harry Potter. 
I mean, yeah, it's Quidditch. It's based on Harry Potter, but the game itself, like playing it, it's more intense than anyone would think. I see it lasting. There's talks of it being an NCAA sport. There's, it's a growing community. There are teams in Canada, in Finland. There's Asian teams now. It's spreading across this country, and I think it's not a fad. I don't think there's a lot of hype surrounding Quidditch itself. There's no more movies or books to wait for, so we're trying to like recreate it ourselves and kind of keep it going on. It's kind of like a new sport being invented based off of something magical. Quidditch is just another way to express their love of Harry Potter. And even people who aren't that into Harry Potter, it's cool and it's fun and it's a reminder of something great. So it's definitely going to grow.